Okay, so for the next part, I am going to cut this off, press G for internal polygon line tool, click, click, enter, transform parent tool, right click, cut and seal. Edit parent tool, I don't want these points anymore, click delete, click delete. Space, wow, oh, this looks good like this too. Hmm. Okay, anyways, space bar, G from the keyboard again. I will completely cut this into two equal halves because we are going to do a shawl collar. Cut, simply. Let me delete the band, the shirt collar, okay. Next. For the shawl collar, you are supposed to extend it from the pattern itself. I'm quickly going to link these two patterns together. Right click, apply symmetric pattern. Okay, so it's not doing it. Probably because they're not symmetric. At least that's what the note says. Is it because of this point? Let me try. Yeah, done. Okay, so they are symmetric and I've linked them together. Edit pattern tool. We are going to, like I said, for shawl color, we're supposed to extend. So edit parent tool, let's extend. Okay, so you can extend it as much as you want to. This doesn't need to be curved as much. We're going to make an internal line from here to here. Click, click, enter. Okay, next we're going to fold this. Fold arrangement tool. Click here, and this is supposed to be full like this. Space bar. Great. Let's make the back part. So edit pattern tool. It's very obvious because I need to attach it from this. Like here, you need to attach it. So the first measurement is 5.858. Next, you will have to attach it to the neckline. Right? So the measurement of the back neckline, 5.858. And as far as I remember, four, yeah, four. I forgot the front one. This is 5.858. 5.858. And the height is going to be 3.99. Okay, so this needs to be stitched here. Copy, middle, paste. Okay, I'll do that later. Let's just first stitch this. Let's do this. Let's arrange it. And segment steering to this to this, right? Space bar, shift it like this, space bar again. This is going to make it easier. Click, click. Is it done? Not yet. Yes, kind of. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to mirror paste it. Right click mirror paste it here for the other panel. So this needs to be stitched with this. Parallel, looks parallel. And of course the neckline. This to this. Control Z. I can never do it at once. 
and of course, stitch these two together. Done. Let me strengthen these. And of course, the particle distance. You can always right click, strengthen, merge these two if you want to. Merge these two. Right click, delete all the points. This and this should be merged. That's how it traditionally is. Okay, so let's also reduce the particle distances for the two to make it look more fabricish. Seven and eight should be good to go. Seven. One, why isn't it changing? I guess it got stuck. Why? Seven. Done. Uh, it looks cool. It looks cool. Of course, you can just split it into two halves. You can have something inside. But yeah, that's how you do a shawl collar. So I guess this is it about today's session. You can try adding piping. I just felt maybe let's add some piping to it. You just take your piping tool and you keep clicking over the seam line and you double click where you want to end it. You want to end it here, double click. I want the color of my piping to be black. I know it's too mainstream, but. Or we can have this in fur fabric, however you want it to be. You know, it's your design. You can do whatever you wish to with it. Selecting this piping using the edit piping tool, changing the fabric from the property editor. Space from. And maybe at the sleeve, hem lines or wherever. So yeah, this is it about today's video. So we've learned how to make a mandarin or a band collar, a shirt collar, and then a shawl collar. See you in my next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.